Aircraft carriers are the largest warships in the world. They surprise by their size and firepower. After all, the deck of such a ship can accommodate several dozens of aircraft, among which may be attack aircraft, fighters, anti-submarine aircraft, helicopters, and so on. Currently, only nine countries in the world have naval vessels carrying aviation. Most of them belong to the U.S. Navy. In this video, we'll talk about the 11 largest aircraft carriers. Why 11 and not say 10? Because there are 11, and each one deserves your attention. Chakri Narabet of the Thai Armed Forces, a light aircraft carrier, opens the list of the 11 largest warships in the world. It's also the smallest modern aircraft carrier. The main tasks of the Thai ship, search and rescue, and support of its aircraft from the air. The ship, according to experts, has a low combat effectiveness, which is due to the lack of funds. So, due to the lack of funding, the ship is almost always moored, entertaining inquisitive tourists who are allowed on board. On rare outings at sea, members of Thailand's royal family are almost always present on deck, for which the aircraft carrier has been nicknamed the Family Royal Yacht. The aircraft carrier was built in 1996. It's 183 meters long and has a displacement of 11,485 tons. It can accommodate up to 14 airplanes and helicopters. The number of crew is 455 people. The 10th place is occupied by the Italian aircraft carrier Cavour. It was named in honor of the statesman of Italy, Count C. Cavour, and entered the fleet in 2009. The ship is 244 meters long. The deck accommodates eight AV-8B Harrier aircraft and 12 helicopters. In addition to aircraft, it can accommodate more than 500 people, 24 tanks, or 50 heavy combat vehicles. Ninth place is the French aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle. It replaced the obsolete Clemenceau-type aircraft carriers. The ship is 261.5 meters long and has a displacement of 42,000 tons. Up to 40 aircraft can be based on the aircraft carrier. The basis of its air group is a Dassault Rafale fighter. The machine is interesting, a landmark for Europe, and on the whole represents the best European fighter of the fourth generation at the moment. Close in spirit, British Eurofighter Typhoon, in contrast to the Rafale, just beginning to receive modern radar with an active phased array antenna. Notably, the Charles de Gaulle is the only non-American aircraft carrier with a nuclear reactor. The crew, together with the air group, is 1,500 people. The ship has been actively involved in combat operations worldwide, including the Afghanistan war against the Taliban in the 1990s. In the 30s, France is going to get a new aircraft carrier with a displacement of 75,000 tons, which is almost two times larger than that of the Charles de Gaulle. It's assumed that the length of the ship will be 300 meters and width 30 meters. In eighth place in our list is the Indian aircraft carrier Vikramaditya, which means almighty in Sanskrit. It's 274 meters long and has a displacement of 45,000 tons. The Indian aircraft carrier is a massively remodeled Russian aircraft carrier, Admiral Gorshkov, which was launched back in 1987. After modernization at the Russian shipyard Sevmash, it was handed over to the Indian side in 2013. On board, the aircraft carrier is capable of carrying 30 aircraft, including 14 MiG-29K fighters, as well as Russian-made Ka-27 and Ka-31 helicopters. Seventh place, the Chinese aircraft carrier Liaolin, named after a province in northeast China. Its length is 304.5 meters, displacement 59,500 tons. It's a former unfinished Soviet cruiser, Varieg. China purchased it from Ukraine for $25 million. Initially, it was planned to turn into a floating entertainment complex, but then a fundamentally different decision was made, and since 2005, the ship has been intensively upgraded in the Dalian base of the Chinese Navy, where in August 2011, the first sea trials were held. And on September 25, 2012, the new Liaoning aircraft carrier joined the Chinese Navy. As usual, everything about China is strictly classified, therefore the data on its aircraft group is approximate. Experts believe that the aircraft carrier is equipped with 24 carrier-based J-15 fighters based on the Soviet carrier-based Su-33 fighter purchased by China from Ukraine. The ship also has several long-range radar detection and anti-submarine defense helicopters. Crew strength, 1,980 people. 
According to Business Insider, the aircraft carrier Liaolin is second after the Russian aircraft carrier Admiral of the Fleet of the Soviet Union Kuznetsov in the ranking of the worst operating aircraft carriers in the world. The Russian aircraft carrier Admiral of the Fleet of the Soviet Union Kuznetsov is in sixth place in the top 11 of the world's worst aircraft carriers. It was launched back in 1985 and put into operation in 1991. Its length is 306.45 meters and its displacement is 61,390 tons. It's designed for basing and servicing 28 aircraft and 24 helicopters. In the aircraft fleet of Deck Aviation of Russia, the number of planes and helicopters is several times greater than the capacity of the aircraft carrier for their placement, so the composition of the air group varies depending on the tasks. Military Balance Handbook indicates the following available DEX aviation for the aircraft carrier in 2016. The basis of the air wing consists of up to 24 SU-33, MiG-29K, and MiG-29KUB deck fighters. Depending on its missions, it can also carry KA-27 anti-submarine helicopters, KA-29 assault helicopters, and KA-52K attack helicopters undergoing tests. It should be said that Admiral Kuznetsov is not an aircraft carrier in the full sense of the word. Its official name is a heavy aircraft carrier since it also has 12 launchers of supersonic anti-ship cruise missiles Granite. On this ground that it's not formally an aircraft carrier, Admiral Kuznetsov is the only aircraft carrier that can be in the Black Sea because the Montreux Convention forbids the passage of clean aircraft carriers through the Bosporus and Dardanelles Straits. The honorable fifth place is occupied by the British aircraft carrier Queen Elizabeth. Launched in 2007, put into service in 2017, its length is 284 meters. Displacement 70,600 tons. The aviation group consists of 40 vehicles including F-35C aircraft, EH-101 Merlin helicopters, and long-range radar helicopters. The crew strength along with the air wing is 1,500. Queen Elizabeth is the first ship in a series of aircraft carriers like it. Britain has already built and commissioned a second aircraft carrier of this type, the Prince of Wales, but these two aircraft carriers have been haunted by failures since the day they were laid at the shipyard. You may have already noticed that from the day Queen Elizabeth was launched to her commissioning, it took a long 10 years, and Prince of Wales broke down on her first voyage. So the decision was made to take her apart for parts. Yes and before Britain proudly carried the unofficial title of ruler of the seas. The fourth place is again taken by the Chinese aircraft carrier Shandong, named after the province in eastern China. It was launched in 2017 and commissioned in 2019. It's 315 meters long and has a displacement of 70,000 tons. The design is also largely similar to that of the Russian aircraft carrier Admiral Kuznetsov. But this time, the Chinese aircraft carrier is entirely built in China. The standard air group is the same as on Liaolin, about 40 planes and helicopters. And the top three are tightly occupied by the U.S. aircraft carriers. In third place is George Bush. This is the last, 11th, and most advanced aircraft carrier in the USS Nimitz class. Launched in 2006 and commissioned in 2009, it's 332.8 meters long and has a displacement of 97,000 tons. This ship has several innovations in comparison with other Nimitz's, ergonomic design for higher stability on the water, hull protection with 67 mm Kevlar armor, and special anti-radar coating, specially shaped propellers and large-scale electronic stuffing including vacuum cleaning of galleries that periodically give system failures. By the way, this is the largest problem of the ship so far. Imagine what it's like to have all 423 toilets fail at the same time. The air group consists of 90 aircraft and helicopters of various types, including F-A-18 Hornet, F-35C, AV-8B Harrier II fighters, and attack aircraft. The crew is 3,200 plus 2,480 wingmen. The second place we give to the old Nimitz, the oldest aircraft carrier of this famous series, which for many years was the epitome of U.S. power. The Nimitz was launched in 1972 and commissioned in 1975. Her length is the same as George W. Bush's 332.8 meters, and her displacement is slightly larger, 98,425 tons. The number of crew is the same, 5,680 people. 
And finally, the first place. It's taken by a ship that's not even called an aircraft carrier, but a super aircraft carrier for its enormous military power and technical characteristics. This is the Gerald R-4. It's 337 meters long and has a displacement of 98,425 tons. So far, it's the pinnacle of world military shipbuilding. Judge for yourself. Two nuclear reactors of the new type, which provide 25% more electric power than the power plant of the previous generation aircraft carrier. Designed for 50 years of operation without fuel replacement. Electromagnetic catapults, EMALs based on linear electric motors, it allows the acceleration of combat aircraft more smoothly and creates a more gentle load on the aircraft structure and at the same time provides 160 sorties per day. And if you really need it, you can make 220 sorties. The Nimitz, on the other hand, has only 120 sorties. That is, with the same number of planes on board, 90. Gerald R. Ford has almost twice the striking power. Also due to extensive automation and computerization of all systems of the ship, it was possible to reduce the number of crew by 20% compared to the Nimitz, 4,660 people. And that's $4 billion in wage savings over the lifetime of the aircraft carrier, which should be 50 years. The U.S. will certainly continue to hold the lead in this honorable class of weaponry. After all, Gerald R. Ford is the first aircraft carrier in the series. Nine more ships of this type will be built. The second aircraft carrier of this type, the John F. Kennedy, has already been launched in 2019. Commissioning is scheduled for 2024. If you enjoyed this video, please give us thumbs up. That'd be the best reward for us. And not to miss new interesting videos about new weapons, subscribe to our channel by clicking on the bell. See you soon.